In our Monday's press review, we begin in Kenya is a story in the standard. The big names that BBI will make or break. The Building Bridges Initiative BBI report could make or break careers in the country's political arena. The president has hinged his legacy on the report that will also affect the political futures of his deputy William Ruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga. Uhuru believes the recommendations in the report will cure the ills that have but leveled the country since independence, such as corruption, tribalism, and discrimination. South Africa's Mail and Guardian carried a story, Serial Plans Reshovel to Asset Control. President Cyril Ramaphosa's new dawn has faltered, with internal divisions in the ANC and the ruling alliance topping tough decisions being made on issues such as the future of ESCOM. Now, less than six months into his first administration, Ramaphosa is said to be thinking about reshoveling his cabinet to solidify his power in the ANC. New Vision carried a story, Uganda's GDP jumps to 128 trillion shillings. And another story says, BOU reduces central bank's rate by 1%. Bank of Uganda, BOU, has reduced the central bank rate by 1% from 10% in August 2019 to 1% in October 2019. This was done in response to the expected part of macroeconomic indicators and the international economic environment. We end with Daily Monitor is a story captioned NSSF seeks to manage health insurance fund. Another story says stray hippos cause panic among Luamco residents. Six stray hippopotamuses are roaming Alali village causing panic among residents. The village spokesperson Bosco Otim says the hippos have been roaming the area since August this year. 